Hello everyone, Scott Jarrett here. And today I was uh, talking to a client and uh, there's this thing that's out there called the boomerang effect. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's what happens when your child gets out of school and they don't get a job and they come right back into your life and now you're like, um, supposed to be gone now and you're not self-sufficient, what's happening, how can we get you to do things? So um, it started going back to some stories and things that I remember as a kid and why I am wired the way I am. And um, I started thinking about like some rules to help alleviate some of this and hopefully that um, you can move them forward to a better, better reality. So when I was a child, um, if you ever wanted to do anything, you better go earn it to have any extra things because it's basically a scarcity world where you had to work to get just enough money to get food and shelter and uh, you really didn't have anything left over for anything else. So to have any of those other things, you better go figure it out, like get a job, go find ways to make money, uh, create something if you're going to want to have any of these, uh, these things. So one of my uh, favorite mentors that I have looked up to uh, would be Warren Buffett. And um, when I was going through this with a client, I'm like, wow, what, what would be the best thing? So Warren Buffett always says, you know, the one, the one rule you have to get right uh, to teaching your kids about money. And his whole story, and, and when I went back to my future, of like what it was for me was the one rule is start early. And that's what he said. He goes, start early. So I started looking more in, in Cambridge. Uh, they talk about the way the human brain develops. By the age of three, your mind's already 80% developed. By the age of four, you can start making financial concepts. And by age of seven, some of these are already hardwired into you and the way you're going to go. I was shocked when I was reading this article in Cambridge. And I'll attach this article that I found on Warren Buffett um, to this email as well, so you can um, video so you can see it as well. But anyway, it's very interesting to see how those uh, – concepts are built so early and I think now it's like these are behaviors that I have already been subconsciously built into my brain that I'm like wow we need to be making sure that we're teaching our children this stuff at a very early age so the number one rule from Warren Buffett was it's never too early to start so what you want to do is you want to really focus on um, as time is a factor but the first thing to do is is um, focus on how to be a flexible thinker and I think this is very important. So flexible thinker is like, um, the example that's here is, um, like if you go to an art museum um, with your children, think about, okay, what is this art piece? Like, what is it? Like, do you know, can you explain what it is? Why is it in the museum? What do people like about it? And go home and actually put out, like my wife will get canvases for our children and they'll be able to design an art piece. We'll use different things. Maybe it's not a paintbrush. Maybe it's a sponge. Maybe it's something else. And try to recreate something to be creative to start thinking about what that is. And I know that from my undergraduate study in urban development and real estate and going through architecture, the art of the mind is very important to be creative. And especially in a society and a world today where being a creative and thinker is so important as you start to move forward and try to develop for yourself. And uh, number two, um, how to start saving money. And uh, for me, it was always saving money very early. It was so important because if we didn't, then something would happen that I didn't have it. So throughout my entire life, it was like always had a reserve, had something set aside. So um, my wife's parents did this with our children too. So when, um, when, when she was trying to get a car and her brothers, they had, a, they had to put money aside and whatever they put this aside, their parents would give them half for their first car, for instance. Well, it's the same thing as a child, as they may be very young, set up two piggy banks, um, set up two jars. Like at Jared Bunch, we, when a new baby's born, we like to send them piggy banks so they have them. So one piggy bank could be for saving money for your future. So you're going to set money aside for savings. And the other one is you're going to set it aside for things that you want. So what do you, what do you really want? So um, my kids are really good at sending us a list of everything they want for Christmas. It's very long and all that stuff. Well, here's all the things you want. Well, now what we need to do is we need to create a collage. I actually put those on. With the, it's very good. It teaches you how to like mind map and like dream of what you want to create the collage and the vision board and show what it is. But then go through of it. What is a need and what's a want? So you clearly understand what you really need and what you want. 
And I think that helps a lot with the brain and how that's going. And this is also one of the Warren Buffett's teachings as well. And then another really good one is how to differentiate yourself between price and value. And I will go to the grocery shop store with my son and I'll buy something and he'll like, oh, it's that much? That doesn't seem like a good deal, right? And I buy it anyway. Shouldn't do that, right? So now he's already picking up on behaviors that I buy things that I probably shouldn't be doing that's overvalued and I could buy something less. And um, so he's already pointing those things out. So that psychological thing is happening already. So one example, one of the uh, things would be like maybe get um, the, the, the coupons from the um, grocery store. So when you go find out what are you buying that is it has a good price to value when you're looking at what those are. Just like if you're buying stocks, like what's the good price to value of what you're trying to get? And that's like Warren Buffett's investment strategies, what you're looking for. Um, so that's a good example. Another thing would be like look at magazine ads and um, marketing ads and a, and a game to play and um, is what we do and we all like, like it like what's the hook so you see something like there's a story and it's a commercial what's the hook they're trying to do what are they trying to bring you in and, and what is their offer what is that what are they offering to you that's so good and so once you can start to understand the way we live in this information age where it's always coming everyone's trying to give you a hook and someone's trying to give an offer can your children identify what that is and what they're trying to offer you and then you can start thinking, well, what's the price to value what, what that is? And then more importantly, we talk about building just confidence. Like, how do you make just good decisions? So like if you're um, wanting a new TV, but your air conditioning is broke, well, how are you going to prepare for that? You better save up to fix the air conditioning because if you've only got a TV and it's like so hot and miserable, you're not going to want to be in the house. So what are those things you want to do to make really smart decisions with your money as you move forward? Another example would be like uh, if you go to rent a, um, a, like we used to have DVDs. Let's say you were going to go rent one on, you know, Apple TV or, or something like that. What if you went to the library? What if they had it? What if you could find it on YouTube for free? It was just funny. I've looked at those. Oh, I want to watch this movie. It's actually on YouTube for free. Editing's a little bit differently, but you have to think about, oh, how can I be more resourceful to find something else? And how do I make that better, good decision going forward? Anyway, today I just wanted to give you some of those important topics. Uh, and the number one mistake that Warren Buffett says that we make is not thinking that our children can learn sooner. And also, um, one of the most important things to think about is, is um, you know, the best time to do those things would be, it's like if you're gonna plant a tree, when's the best time to plant a tree? Well, seven years ago, or a long time ago. When's the second time best to plant the tree? Well, it'll be today. So it's never too late to start. Even for us as adults, as we start to build through, it's like never too late to start. So let's start thinking about these good habits and things that we can uh, do for our children, for ourselves. And I find as, as we contribute back to people, you learn so much and it really helps us too. So let's really try to do that um, because I'm telling you right now, if your kid comes back into the house, that's a boomerang effect. That ain't hacking your future. That means that's gonna cost you more and they're not off the payroll. We wanna get them out and functioning. It'd be great. So let's start at a very young age and get them there. That's how we do this. That's how we hack our future. So any more ideas, please share. Let me know your feedback. Um, there's so much to talk about on this topic. You know, money smart kids and you know how this all stuff goes down is so important. And it's never too late to start. You have to start as soon as you can. Okay, it was great talking to you. Feel free to let me know how you thought and what you thought of this process and um, our thoughts here. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Have a great day.